Hey guys, today I thought I'd do just like a nice fun video where I tell you about stuff I like because I'm in the mood for that and it's my channel so I do what I want. I'm a big movie fan but there are like some highly specific movie genres that I always find myself way more excited for than any like action blockbuster or prestige drama or whatever. So I thought I'd just tell you about them so that you can be on the lookout for these excellent movie choices in the future. The first one is an eccentric billionaire has invited you to his house for a game, but all is not what it seems. When will people learn to never accept invitations anywhere from billionaires? They play by different rules than we do. You do not want to play their games. They hunt people for sport, probably. Anything they're doing, you do not want to be a part of, but especially if they're like, it's a game night. You don't want to play those games. They play different games than we do. Some examples of this genre include, would you rather? It's core, it's just a children's game, and I would wager that some of you here this evening have played, would you rather? So, how do we play? Clue, of course. The only way to avoid finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill Wadsworth. Now. And the upcoming Ready or Not, which I hope is as good as the trailers are making it look because I am stoked for it. At midnight, you have to play a game. Why? It's just something we do when someone new joins the family. A game. The next genre that I really love is my upper middle class husband and I have the perfect life. That is, until some temptress comes along and tries to take it from us. But I'm not gonna let her. Don't you hate when your perfect life is ruined by some harlot coming in and trying to steal your man out from under you? That's a very relatable problem. Unfortunately, as is always the case with young, beautiful women, your husband's immunity to her charms will only drive her further into a homicidal rage. If you have a pet, I have bad news because you had a pet. If you have a baby, she wants your baby. Some examples of this one are when the bow breaks. Anna, we'd like you to stay here with us in our guest house. Obsessed. So let's just forget about it. What if I can't? She took my baby! And I'm gonna include Swim Fan in this, even though they're not married, because if they were 10 years older in the narrative, they would be married. Did I do something wrong? Would you just talk to me? Madison, I have a lot going on right now. I also remember you told me you loved me. Yeah. Spiritually, it counts. The third genre that I really super love are music biopics that are clearly being produced by at least one of the people that are in the narrative of said biopic, or at least a financially invested relative. I love when I see a movie and I'm like really rooting for the sympathetic main character and then I see it's based on a true story and so I look it up after and I discover that a lot of the things that I found sympathetic did not happen and in fact this person is actually a real garbage monster. That's really good because then you can go back and watch the movie again but this time when the stuff happens that's incorrect you get to have this like smug sense of superiority because you know the truth and I thrive on that sense of superiority. It's what keeps my bones stitched together. This genre includes a lot of movies but some recent examples are The Dirt. You want to know what life on the road's really like? Walk the Line. and Bohemian Rhapsody. Playing to the other misfits, the outcasts, right at the back of the room who are pretty sure they don't belong either. We're a family. Also, anything in the Conjuring cinematic universe, which counts because Patrick Wilson insists on singing in like every single one of them for some reason. Would it be a sin? You do you, Patrick. And the fourth genre that I love more than any other genre in the whole world any movie starring Hilary Duff. I shouldn't even have to explain this one. Hilary Duff is one of the greatest actresses of our generation. This isn't up for debate. This is just a fact. Hilary Duff loves to play an underdog who has a secret talent that we don't know about. Usually it is singing. La, la, la. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Movies in this genre include A Cinderella Story. What are you doing? Something should have done a long time ago. The Lizzie McGuire movie. Lizzie! Who are you going to believe? This boy you are knowing your whole life? And my absolute favorite movie of all time, Raise Your Voice. <laughs> I 
love that one the most. Side note, did you guys know that Hilary Duff's middle name is Erhard? Hilary Erhard Duff. Anyway, that's just some stuff I love. What do you love? Tell me in the comments. And like, subscribe and stuff. Bye!